start the computer and see what happens. Now this thing may be pulling this off of a of a rec um, recovery partition on this hard drive. I don't know for sure. That's probably the case. So maybe we can't say this would be the exact same behavior with a brand new hard disk drive. But people online were talking about this. I like I mentioned the main partition on this thing is formatted. <clears throat> But yet we still get Windows 8. <laughs> Just waiting on them to start up now saying diagnosing your PC. Oh yeah, Windows couldn't start because Windows wasn't there. I'll be honest with you guys. It's it's amazing just how ridiculous these new OEM machines have gotten after Windows 8 was released. I mean, it's, it's like a disaster. <laughs> it, says, it says, automatic repair couldn't repair your PC. That's because it cannot pull the information off the hard drive because I formatted it. So let's say advanced options. Okay, I gotta plug the USB mouse back in. Yeah, it's funny the touchpad ain't working for some reason. We gotta use a USB mouse to make things work. Let's go to advanced options. Now, of course, if I say continue, I would say exit continue Windows 8, that won't work because Windows 8 is not there. Use a device. If I try that, it won't work because the EFI is turned on. It won't boot off a DVD or nothing because of the EFI, the secure boot. Now we're going to troubleshoot. Now these may work if the recovery partition is there, but we're not we're not putting Windows 8 back on this thing. You can count on that. See advanced options. You can get command prompt. System restore will not work because Windows is not there. System image recovery, that may work if you have another system image to put on it. And of course automatic repair, that's an epic fail. And of course startup settings, that won't work because there's no Windows installed there. So we gotta go to UEFI firmware settings. Now with this Toshiba, you can press F2 real quickly as soon as you get something on the screen, it will, and it will work. You can get into the BIOS on this one. But most of these, you can't even get into the BIOS when you have you, the UEFI come, um, turned on. So in that case, you would have to take out the hard drive. Let's say you go over to Advanced, and you go to System Config. Now I can change this to CSM. Let me explain how I did that. On these Toshibas, and probably others, you have to um, go down to Secure Boot. Normally it's on Enabled, set it to Disabled. Now go to System Config again. Change UEFI to CSM or legacy boot or whatever it's called escape go to exit well before we do that let's go ahead and check the um, the boot order which is perfectly fine it checks for the um, CD first which I changed that earlier by the way exit saving changes now we can probably get into the Windows 7 boot DVD Now that's something we want to see. Windows is loading files. Now yes, to some of you guys this probably might be a boring video, but I've seen so many people online and forums real confused about this, so I figured I'd just post how to get out of this situation. Yeah, post a video how to get out of this situation to YouTube for you guys to see. And for those to witness how ridiculous these new computers have gotten nowadays. I gotta do a second one 
<laughs> you know, I gotta do another one next week for a local business. They, um, it's, uh, it's a sign business not far from where I live. I've done quite a bit of work for them. And the owner is wanting a new laptop, and he doesn't want Windows 8. He wants Windows 7. So I'll be D Windows 8 editizing another Windows 8 laptop real soon. Now that looks nice. Tried and true Windows 7. Now guys, I don't want this to be a Windows 8 war. I don't want this to be an upgrade or downgrade war. I don't I'm I don't I don't need that. This is just a video about, you know, <laughs> how to get out of the situation I mentioned before. What I want to do here yeah, the touchpad is turned off for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see if there's, a, if there's a recovery partition on this drive. There probably is. We should be able to access it. We're going to install Home Premium 64-bit. Say next. Yeah, this is a um, Windows 7 DVD image that has every single version of Windows 7. The only thing I don't like is there's no service pack in, um, still, um, streamed in with this. I have to install SP1 afterwards. Say custom. Yeah, look at all these partitions. Look at them. It's a 500 gig hard drive. You have system partition. And I believe that's the one that actually got us that screen we saw earlier. Drive options. Delete. It's like, okay. Select delete. Select okay. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. And last but not least, the recovery partition. Now, of course, you could keep this if you want to, but we're not going back. We're not going back to Windows 8 on this thing. And of course, set your new partition. And then click next to begin Windows 7 installation. Basically, if you have a Toshiba or probably many other kinds of laptops like this that can pre install Windows 8, and let's say you can't get into Windows 8 for you know a, a given reason. If you can't get into the system BIOS, try removing the hard disk drive. But first try pressing F2 or you know your common um, function keys to try to access the BIOS and see if that works. But in this case, in this case with the Toshiba, you can, and go to the security tab, go down to you know the um, secure boot, disable that, and then go over to the um, I think it was the boot tab, you know the system config, and turn off UEFI, set it to CSM or legacy boot, and then you should be good to go. And of course, when you start your Windows 7 installation. Clean out all those unneeded partitions and regain your hard disk space, um, space back. So, anyways, yes, this is a long video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.